Matthew Wilkinson, historian with Heritage Mississauga. And another part of our, our, our short video series on the darker side, stories of crime and punishment in historic Mississauga, we're going to focus on a story around uh, an individual by the name of Thomas Dandy. Uh, the story that we've published in the past uh, refers to it as a dandy mystery. Thomas Dandy, a resident of Streetsville, known to be a dandy by name and a dandy by nature. Uh, he was approximately five foot four, and he was uh, he was in his early forties. Was known to be a kind of a rough and tumble customer, if you will. It was uh, not uncommon to see him in uh, uh, altercations within the street, but he was a good, solid family man at the same time. Uh, he had young children at home. Uh, he was uh, employed as a as a as a uh, laborer in the surrounding communities, um, and one of the things that he was engaged with was uh, working uh, with with uh, building craft and in houses and painting and uh, stucco work and the like. Um, and Thomas Dandy uh, uh, in um, uh had married a, his wife's name was Elizabeth and uh, they come to Canada in 1857 and uh, the family grew to eventually include five children um, Thomas's work within the surrounding community trying to support his family took him uh, quite a ways away from home sometimes as far as what is today uh, Milton and Oakville and, and Burlington and beyond um, but uh, always returning home and uh, known to be a, a kind of a, a fellow of solid character if uh, again a little bit of a, a rough and tumble uh, tumble in individual. Um, in the summer of 1879, Thomas had work, uh, had a, had, uh, he was employed at a farm along Trafalgar Road, the Macaulay family farm, um, and principally he was painting and doing some construction work ar ar around, the, around the property. Um, and uh, in early September of 1879, Thomas uh, was uh, left home in Streetsville on his way to the Macaulay farm. Um, he did, uh, uh, according to the Macaulay family, he did arrive on time, he did his day's work, and he he was paid for the work that he had done and Thomas then returned home to Streetsville. He never made it. Um, that was the last anyone ever saw Thomas alive. One of the, the, the oddities of the, the story of Thomas Dandy is uh, the unknown nature of how he met his demise and what transpired after he left the Macaulay farm. Um, three days later on September 3rd of 1879 Thomas's lifeless body was found in a wooded area just off of what is uh, uh, roughly Fifth Line West and uh, and the QEW today, the area um, just north of, the, of what is the QEW or what was then known as Middle Road. It was a wooded area then. It was known as Faskin's Bush. Faskin was the nearby uh, landowner of the property and Faskin's Bush was a large uncleared area of his, of his property. Uh, just adjacent to, again, Fifth Line and uh, its intersection with uh, what is now South Down road um anyway thomas's lifeless body was found uh covered with uh, with leaves in the in the in the bush area and uh um a, an inquiry was held almost immediately thomas had been missing for a couple of days his family had reported him missing that he hadn't returned eventually the the uh, police constable found their way to the macaulay farm where they showed or they um uh, reported that he had been paid for his work and they actually had a, a signed piece of paper that said that he had received his uh, his wages and, and on he had gone they ended up finding Thomas's horse and wagon uh, tethered to a post around what is Britannia Road and Trafalgar Road, presumably on the way home uh, from the uh, from the Macaulay Farm area back towards Streetsville. But then, if is one of the unsolved questions of it is how the horse and wagon were in one location, but the body was found miles away south uh, in uh, what is again Fifth Line West in the QW area of, of Mississauga. So quite a significant geography between where the horse and wagon were found and where Thomas's body was found. Um, no trace, no evidence was was found at the scene to indicate uh, the cause of death or the perpetrators of the crime. Uh, it suggested that robbery was a motive. Uh, Thomas was found without any money on his belong on on his on his body. So if if he if he had been paid by the Macaulays, it was unknown what had happened to the money that would have been in his possession. Um, so part of the challenge again uh, was was trying to find evidence to to investigate. And although there was a coroner's inquest held and police constables were active in the area trying to find information, there was no reference to anything that was found pertaining to his uh, the cause of his death. Um, his official cause of death on the death certificate that was issued by the coroner is simply 
found dead. Um, and so that again, the challenge is the unknown nature of the, of the mystery of Thomas Thomas Dandy's death in uh, in eighteen seventy three, uh, sorry eighteen seventy nine. Um, the only identified uh, was uh, the reference to the uh, the uncertainty around his death was that it was certain that he had found uh, he'd met with foul play. Uh, there's one suggestion that uh, he had been bashed over the head and then hastily buried in leaves uh, when when his body when when he had uh, when he had passed away, uh, leaving him therefore in Faskin's bush. But again, how did he get there? And if he got there on his own means. Uh, why was he there in that in that area? It certainly wasn't on the way home from Streetsville. Um, and then, how did his horse and buggy end up uh, quite a, quite a far distance north uh, near Trafalgar Road and what is now Britannia Road? Um, Thomas's wife never did find out what happened. Elizabeth lived until 1917, and she's buried alongside her husband in the Streetsville Public uh, Public Cemetery. Um, and uh, it, it's just an unfortunate story that uh, left ramifications for generations within that family, the unknown nature of what happened to uh, to Thomas Dandy. He did leave uh, uh, five children behind him, uh, all of which uh, in, in, uh, had, had connections to living in Streetsville for, for a number of years. Um, the uh, the children were Elizabeth, uh, Mary, Francis, James, and Sophia. James uh, Dandy ro rose to quite some prominence in local politics and also running a hardware store in Streetsville. Again, however, never knowing what happened to his father. Uh, James was born in 1867 and was uh, was uh, was only uh, th about 13 years old when his father disappeared in September of 1879. So. Uh, on the darker story of our darker side, the disappearance of James Dandy certainly ranks right up there as to one of those those unsolved crimes uh, within the, uh, the the annals of uh, historic Mississauga. Thank you.